Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Kitroy tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix WWE 2K25 is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, laggy, low FPS drop, stuck all over in screen and even error graphics device removed error which is happening and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about we have to start with verify the game file. So to start with the verify game file, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to the game, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step. Next step is all about after trying with this to verify integrity of game file, if it's still having the trouble, we need to delete the config file. Which means what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC, navigate to the documents. Now you'll be having a separate folder for my games here or you'll be having a folder for WWE 2K25. So if you have the folder, just delete the respective folder. So you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but even though it is worth a lot, so you can try this out. Next one, we need to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program, or we need to add it onto the Windows security firewall. So to do this, just go over here, search for the control panel, and you have to click on this one. Now from here, add system and security, Windows Defender firewall, Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and make sure that you have already added WWE 2K25. Or if the WWE 2K25 is not added, we need to add it by default. So right now, as you can see, I have not, I'm not able to find WWE 2K25 here, which means I need to add it by manually. So click on the chain setting, go to allow another app, go to the browse, navigate to this PC, Go to local disk D, I think, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Scroll down and navigate to WW2K25. Select this one and we have to open. Now we need to open this. Once it is open, go for add. So right now the WW2K25 is added. So we need to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. So once you're done with this one, let us move to the next step. Next one. We need to run the game as an administrator from the installation folder. That is one step. And also we need to try running the game in the compatibility mode. So to do this, what we need to do is first make sure one thing where the game is installed. Go to the properties, make sure installed file and the game is installed on D. So what we need to do is first we need to close the Steam. Go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, go to local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Scroll down and navigate to WWE2K25 and right now as you can see WWE2K25 is this is what it is. Now we need to launch the game frame here. First instead of launching it from the Steam, always try to launch the game from the installation folder. This helped many users as I found this from the Reddit, even from the Steam community, even in other forums as well. Many people shared the same, they are stating this worker for them so we need to try this. So once you try with this, you have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do. Over here, we need to run the game as an administrator. Right click and show more options, properties, compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator. Sorry, first we need to run the program as an administrator. Go for apply and we have to check. Next one, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. First, we need to set this to Windows 7. Go for apply or we need to set this to Windows 8 go for apply and go for ok. Once afterwards just close this and we have to go back to the game and we need to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to try DX11, DX12 in the launch option. So just go over here, right click on the game, go to the properties. Now launch option, first we need to try DX11. We have to start with DX11, not the capital, should be small. Try with DX11 try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game if both these steps are not working i suggest from my end you can try with d3 d2 as well so if d3 d2 is also not running 
we can just remove everything once everything is removed close this and you can move to the next step next step is all about we need to do a clean installation of the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the users on the nvidia just go to this page select everything for example like the product type should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected and the operating system should be windows 11 and select everything and go for start search and now once you go for the start search what we need to do is we just need to go over here and if the system is based on 572.70 you have to click on the get download so it is the latest version now as you can see the file size is 845.04 mb so which is the latest one so you can download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game if you're on the amd just go over here select everything like the graphics should be selected now the graphics should be selected and over here you can go to submit and if you're on the windows 11 you can download this one and if you're on the windows 10 you can download this one we can also try installing the microsoft visual c so if the system is based on x64 we can download this one if the system is based on x86 we can download this one next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about we need to run the game on the dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings now from here you have to search for the graphics settings click on this one so add the game click on the browse navigate to the installation folder b steam library steam apps common scroll down www2k25 select this one and we need to add it once it is added just click on the option make sure this is let windows decide change this to the high performance go for save once it is saved just close this and we have to go back next one close the game exe in the task manager if it is running or try launch the game after remove it and create or delete crash pad file so if the game is running in the task manager we have to check if you find anything related to wwe 2k25 is running over here you have to remove it once you remove it you have to check with the game and also we need to delete the crash pad file so just go to the file explorer go to this pc d steam library steam amps go to common scroll down to ww2k25 right now you can see this is a crash pad folder right click this first copy and we need to take a backup that which means we have to save it over here in the desktop first paste it over here in the desktop then go back to the folder right click and go for delete once it is deleted you just need to check with it whether the issue is solved or not next one we need to close the v mode and anti cheat cheat programs like face it or any other anti cheat program which is running on a system just remove everything next one we need to disconnect the controller launch the game then reconnect the controller and connect it back so if you're on the game just reconnect i mean just eject everything first which means unplug everything launch the game once the game is up and running you can connect it back then you can check next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices everything should be unplugged all the devices should be unplugged and you have to check next one we need to disable the steam overlay and close all the overlay apps even the discord geoforce can be removed and all those things in the nvidia app we need to enable the debug mode i think so what we need to do is just go over here right click go to the uh, properties make sure steam enable the steam overlay is turn it off then go back and try launch the game next one is all about still if you're having the trouble just go over here right click go to uh, control panel over here right now once you go for the control panel now we just need to wait for this one over here you can see there is an option called help click on this one right now the debug mode is actually not enabled so click on the debug mode if you check you can see we have put a check on the debug mode that is an important now we need to close this go back and try launch the game next one is we need to uh, forget these to try debug mode in the nvidia control panel which we did and also try launching the game in the big picture mode so that is also a very important one so just go over here at the top you can see this is the big picture mode click on this one so that the big picture mode will be enabled now as you can see we are in the big picture mode we have to we are in the big picture mode and now we can go over here go to the game now we can click on the play button and try launch the game that even work it for many users as well so let me exit the big picture mode go over here in the power there is an option called exit big picture mode exit this now we need to move to the next one 
we need to increase the virtual memory so the size should be 1.5 times the total RAM which is the initial size maximum size should be three times the total RAM so what we need to do is just go over here search for the calculator click on this one now we need to do a calculation before proceeding to this before that go over here search for view advanced system setting click on this one go to the advanced tab settings advanced go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk so right now what we need to do is i need to select d because this is where the game is installed go for the custom size and the initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size three times the total ram so we need a calculator so just type your RAM. So first you need to type 16 GB multiplied with 1024. That is this value multiplied with 1.5. That is 24576. Copy this, paste it. Next one, 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And you have to multiply it with three. That is 14, and sorry, we have, we made a mistake. 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And we have to multiply it with three. That is 14 and 152. Copy this and we need to paste it. Once every value has been given, just close everything and you have to check. Still, if it's there, we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So from here, like I said, you can download and install the Microsoft Visual C++. Next step is all about, we need to update your windows. And the last and the least step, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here in the settings. Make sure the windows is up to date. So if the windows is up to date or if you're having any kind of cumulative updates and all those things which is pending, make sure the windows is up to date. Once the windows are up to date, we just need to go back over here. Now we need to go to the Steam. Now go over here in the library. Go to the game over here. Scroll down and navigate to the game. Now from here right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And we have to reinstall it back. While reinstall it back, it should not be installing back on, on the D because right now the game is on D. We have to try either E or C. So these are the steps in the WWE 2K25. And I hope this quick video is helpful. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.